All right, quick video on the dog sled rebuild. I'm out in my new makeshift shop, so to speak. Oh, terrible, terrible quality. Great channel to come to if you want terrible quality of videotaping. Oh, that's tossing me. I'm trying to improve the situation here. We actually do got a camera coming to improve. Look at that. 30 seconds of just, look at this, what I found. You gotta see this, the cowbell. I was telling my friend I'm gonna hang it like Flavor Flav right here. What's up, man? <laughs> Anyways, back to the sled. I digress very quickly, apparently. Broken cross piece right here. I took all the screws out except for this one, apparently. There we go. I'm gonna part nicely. Take the bolt out the other side. It's all bolted. It's all C channel, so it's easy to work with. I like that part about it. That's for sure. Um, I like tying. I have a sled that you tie, and that's fantastic too. But you know, it's a old-fashioned way of doing it. But uh, this makes it easier, especially on the trail when shit breaks, which is what happens uh, quite often. So. so we took off the two down tubes. We're going to take off this cross piece here as well. These runnels will get me through, no problem. Brush brow is still wood, that's pretty awesome. That won't last long with me, let me tell you. It'll be to a plastic brush brow in no time. We have this uh, part of the bed here. I'm just adding a larger nut, uh, uh, screw. These should have all been nuts and bolts, but you know, who am I to criticize really because I, I don't make sleds, maybe that's in my future. There was two cables right here. I essentially just took uh, a uh, grinder, grinder, I don't know what I did with them. Oh, there they are. There you go. So yeah, yeah aluminum and aluminum with steel. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get that in there. So yeah, both of them were aluminum and steel turnbuckles. Once that shit is seized together, two metals like that, two opposing metals, Forget it. You're wasting your freaking time. It's not even worth it. They, they, it doesn't do anything for the sled. All it does is help hold the bag on. It doesn't help with the actual, um, you know, making sure that it's a very nicely tuned sled and that it steers nice, etc., etc. Uh, so I'm just going to use paracord and a trucker's hitch. Carry some extra paracord. Like I said, it's just to hold the bag. I might even be able to go down to this a couple of times and make like a a mesh thing with uh, a mesh side uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah so we're gonna change this wood I've already put a little bit of oil on it but it was so dark last night I was like working half in the dark we're gonna work on a little bit more today um, nuts and bolts all the way through makes it easy so that's the uh, terrible quality terri terrible terrible audio and video of uh, J3 Reapers channel um, <laughs> we're gonna try and improve that um, and we'll, we'll put together another video uh, of the sled, find out who the manufacturer maker was originally, and uh, do some new hockey tape on there and on the handle too, maybe to look, make it look nice. So, out, my out. Did that stop it?